This is the real Tom Rose, and we're going to solve an, algeb an algebraic averages problem. Now, in order to solve an averages problem, you need to know the average formula. So average can be calculated by taking the sum of a number of things divided by the number of things. In this case, we'll always be doing three things. So you'll have the three values, and it'll be divided by three. And we're going to do this over and over again. The second thing we need to be able to do is read off of a chart. And the way that you read these charts is you start with the year, suppose we're in 1991, you go up to the top where this bar hits, you read it over to the line, and wherever it hits, so this appears to be 25, that is the value for 1991. Now they want to know for which of the following three year periods is the average of the period closest to the production in 1992. They say closest, so we're going to be doing some approximating. And what is production in 1992? Well, it appears to be about 20. So we want to know which of these periods averages closest to 20. So let's do 1991 to 1993. It looks like this is 25 for 1991, 1992 is 20, and 93 is 15. So if you add that up, it's 60. Divide by 3, it's approximately 20. That looks pretty good. You might want to just pick that and be done. But for argument's sake, I'm going to keep moving forward and make sure we don't have something else which is closer. So in 92 to 94, it looks like we've got 20 for 92. 93 is 15. 94 looks to be about 30. You divide that by 3, it's going to be about 22. Um, 93 to 95, that's going to be 15 for 93. 30 for 94 and 35. 95. Divide that by 3, and it's going to be much greater than 20. Same thing with 94 to 96. It looks like 30, 35, and 30. Divide that by 3, it'll be much greater than 20. And 95 to 97 will be 35, 30, and it looks like 20 which again will be much greater than 20, so we're gonna eliminate it. A nice trick to use when dealing with averages is in order for a group of numbers to average to uh, 20, all three of those numbers must surround 20. So for example, this one is um, above 20, this one is below 20. You must have something above and below. If we come down to answer choice E, 35 is above, 30 is above, and 20 is dead on. So there's no way this is going to average to 20. Same thing with D. It's above, above, above. That's always going to average to something above 20. Only in the case of A, when we have something above, something dead on, something below, does it even have the potential to average to what we want.